Hey fam and welcome back to I Love Me Me Me. So for those of you who are just finding my channel for the very first time, my name is Marshawn and I am your life and relationship strategist. I help men and women alike to create the relationship that they only dreamed about. So yes, I definitely coach clients out there. If you are in need of some coaching, then definitely go ahead and look in the description box below and send me a personal email. Today, we will be discussing how to grow your relationship even deeper. Stay tuned. All right, fam, thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me, Me, Me. So today I'm going to tell you 10 ways to create a more deeper relationship. So the very first thing is to see the good in your partner always, as much as possible anyway, because I know sometimes this could be very hard, especially when they get on your nerves or an argument has just occurred. But as much as possible, see the good in your partner. And I'm going to say it again always as much as possible. The second thing to think about, this might apply to you, this might not apply to you. However, you guys know that I'm Christian. So think about the love, the type of love that God has for you, and then apply that same type of love and forgiveness to your spouse, to your partner. So model the love of God. <laughs> Forgive, forgive, forgive as much as possible, okay? Model the love that God has for you. Try to model that love the same way for your spouse, for your partner. The third way, some people are going to be like, uh, no, but the third thing is to forgive and forget. Let me repeat that again. Forgive and forget. A lot of people will say, I'm going to forget, but I ain't going to never forget. So you hold on to that whatever that thing is, and you're going to start to build up the resentment. And so you hold no one to all of that animosity and you're not letting go and you're like, you know what, I'm going to forgive him, but I'm not going to forget whatever it is that the person did to you. You need to forget that too because always bringing up what they did wrong or holding on to that thing is not healthy within your relationship. So you really do have to forgive and forget. Don't bring it up. Let that stuff go. And truly get back to being in your relationship wholeheartedly. So it can thrive. So it really can grow. So you guys can mature together and the relationship matures together as well. The fourth thing to do is to celebrate your partner for who they are currently. I know a lot of people get into relationships in the hopes that the person will change into being something else. But if you do not celebrate, if you do not like, if you do not love your partner the way that they are now... When you get into a relationship, and especially when you move that relationship into a deeper relationship, meaning you guys go down the aisle, as in marriage, all of the things that you hate about them, all the things that you thought were like, okay, um, they drive me crazy. Trust me, they're going to exponentially drive you crazy if you let them. So celebrate your partner, celebrate your spouse for the person that they currently are, and you're not trying to change them because they can only change themselves you cannot change your partner. They have to do it themselves if they so choose to. The fifth thing to think about on how to create a deeper relationship is to take responsibility for your actions. Take responsibility for the energy that you are putting out there because everything is coming from you. You are the source. It's not from an outside source. You're not getting ticked off from an outside source. You're deciding and choosing to stay ticked off yourself that is all coming from you it doesn't matter what happened or what they're not doing everything you are you are always choosing to be in the state that you are currently in whether it's happy whether it's mad whether it's angry whatever the next state is it's a choice that you are doing it's a choice that you are making the sixth thing to do and to think about often is to do random acts of kindness and do them often but don't do them just for a tit for tat or don't do them because you are looking for something back. Do them because it's from the kindness and goodness of your heart. So you know that they love coffee and you just happen to be passing by this coffee spot that you know everybody talks about. Buy them some coffee. Or the same thing with chocolate. You know that they love chocolate, milk chocolate or dark chocolate or whatever. Chocolate that goes with wine. That brings me into my next point. You know that they love wine. So just buy them random 
things and do and perform random acts of kindness, whether it's, you know, picking a flower outside of the door before you walk in and handing the flower to them because you thought about them before or writing a handwritten note. It doesn't have to always be a bought thing or a purchase thing, just something from the bottom of your heart. You know that they are running late. Take care of the kids. You know that they run late. Take out the trash. X, Y, and Z. Just think of ways to connect without necessarily having to, like, speak to your partner. Just do it. Trust me. They will notice that the thing is done because they knew that they needed to do it or, you know, they, they wanted, the, you know, that cup of coffee or whatever it was. They run it behind and you actually did it for them. You made the cup of coffee for them. Put it in their mug or their to-go cup, etc. So perform or do, I should say, random acts of kindness and do it often. Number seven is to devote 10 minutes each and every day. 10 minutes out of your day. If you don't have 10 minutes out of your day, then what's really going on? And what you're doing in these 10 minutes is you are devoting these 10 minutes to actually connect with your partner, to connect with your spouse. Ask them how their day was. Listen to what their response is and let them vent if they need to vent. You guys actually have a conversation about, you know, whatever is happening. And then, you know, you do the same thing for them. They do the same thing for you. 10 minutes to connect. It doesn't matter when that 10 minutes is, but you definitely need time to sit and chat with your spouse, sit and chat with your partner, even if that, um, <clears throat> is, is, no, not even, especially if that is not happening on a regular basis. You want to start to definitely incorporate this into your relationship so you can really figure out what's going on with your partner. Because if you guys are not talking, then you don't know. Simple as that. If you're not talking, then you don't really know what's going on with your partner um, currently. They could have told you something a few weeks ago that they're currently going through, but you never checked up on them. You never asked about it. So you really don't know what's actively happening within them at this moment. So take time to connect. If you don't have 10 minutes out of your day, you're doing something completely wrong. <clears throat> Number eight is to be a caregiver. We all want to feel a part of, we all, we, we all want to feel cared for and honor and respect it and just like, okay, I actually, I needed that. You know, give them a little shoulder massage. I needed that. Rub on their feet. I needed that. That could be a part of your connecting with them. Be a caregiver, a caregiver for your spouse, for your partner. It makes all the difference. It really does. And you do start to feel or continue to feel connected with them throughout the day and you actually even start to think about them more and more throughout your day and you're wondering what's actually going to happen and how you guys are going to connect later on when you come back together. Number nine is to ask more meaningful questions. Um, I know that I said ask how your day is but definitely go a little bit deeper into, um, into that questioning. Uh, like is there anything that I could do to make you feel more loved in this moment? Are you going to need any, um, like, me time in the next couple of days? So, basically, you know that I know that I need you to stay away or that you're going to be away from um, from me. So, is there any me time that you think that you're going to need in the next couple of days? And finally, how can I support you in your life right now? So, ask more meaningful questions. Ask more meaningful questions. The 10th one, this one might be a little bit hard for everyone. Okay, maybe not everyone, but ask for help sooner than you want to because a lot of us think that we can do everything on our own. We want to hold on to all of these issues and thoughts that we are having, problems that we are trying to solve. We want to hold on to them or always think that we can do all of these things by ourselves. But you're in this relationship so you can connect with your partner so you don't have to worry about doing all of these things and trying to figure out all of these things on your own. Yeah. That is where the teamwork is going to come into play and you can bounce ideas off of each other. And your partner, little do you know, can actually help you out of a situation or with a problem or an issue a lot sooner. All right, fam. So how can you actually connect deeper with your spouse or with your partner? Is there something in here that really resonated with you that you know that you need to start doing, such as 
insert. <laughs> Are there more meaningful questions that you need to ask? Do you need to really start incorporating those 10 minutes where you two can connect? Do you need to touch your partner softly? Ask them some questions so you guys can form a deeper bond. I will see you again in the next video. Deuces.